Oh, tuloy natin yung sa uh, handout ng cash and cash equivalents, no? So, tama, no? Problem number four na po. Tama ba? Yung hindi na, uh, hindi na tapos last meeting. So, problem number four. Ano po yung hinihingi? What amount of uh, petty cash fund uh, should be reported in the statement of financial position? So, ito, pagka petty cash balance lang naman, kung magkali yung, oh, cash and cash, ah, kumbaga yung cash fund balance, okay? So, an entity reported an impressed petty cash fund of 50,000 with the following details. So, ano lang ang cash dyan? O, currencies, cash po ba yan? Yes. Coins? Yes. Okay, petty cash vouchers. O, pagka gamit na yan, expense na po. Pagka hindi pa, ano, prepayments. Nasusundan yun. Okay, so yung gasoline payments for delivery equipment, so may mga use na yan, so expense. Medical supplies for employees, repairs of office equipment, so ayun nga, pagkagamit na, o pagkayos na, expense na yun. Nasusundan, o dun sa supplies, possible na may unused portion pa din, that would be uh, prepayments. Nasusundan yun, okay. Yung mga tingin nyo, parang kailangan ko mag-explain bakit wala ako nung ano. Alam mo yun, may ganun eh. Okay. Ano lang po, eh, di ba medyo pabagyo kasi nun, eh wala yung asawa ko. So, kailangan ako muna yung maglaba. Ayan. Kaya, pasensya lang ha. Ayan. So, anyway. So, ayun. So, initially ha, yung currencies and coins lang po muna yung cash. And then, uh, loans to employees. So, loans granted to employees. Ano to? Okay, receivables po yan. Ano? Okay, a check drawn by the entity payable to the order of petty cash custodian representing salary for the month. So, anong ginawa dyan? Okay, yung, yung petty cash custodian, in-encash na yung check and dun sa, okay, sa petty cash fund. So, pagka-authorize naman, o oh, valid yan. No? So, ito yung tinatawag na accommodation check. Nakuha po ba? So, accommodation check, okay? O, oh, part, magiging part lang yan ng petty cash fund. Is that clear? Okay, next. And then, an employee's check returned by the bank for insufficiency of fund. Okay, so ano to? NSF, okay, so ano to? Magiging, uh, this will be treated as receivables, no? Receivables yan. Okay, so definitely not part of cash. Okay, next. And then a sheet of paper with uh, names of several employees together with contribution for a birthday gift of a co-employee attached to the sheet of paper is a currency of 5,000. So, pera po ba yan ng fund? Hindi, di ba? Pera yan nung okay, nung uh, pera yan para dun sa birthday gift ng empleyado tapos pinahawak lang kay custodian. Pero hindi part nung Uh, nung petty cash fund. Nasusundan po ba? So, magkano po ang petty cash uh, uh, amount, uh, petty cash fund to be reported in the SFP? Answer? So, 20,000 plus 2,000 and then plus 15,000 yung accommodation check. Nakuha po ba? So, what would be our answer? Ang sagot po dyan is letter o C, not 37,000. Okay. Yung problem number 5, ano naman ito? So, this is an illustration na Uh, be, uh, ng bank reconciliation so one uh, one date bank reconciliation so paano po yung uh, normal procedure so definitely i-reconcile lang naman natin yung book records and then yung uh, bank records okay so yung nasa libro mo or yung general balance le uh, general ledger balance or or checkbook balance uh, per books di ba so yun yung uh, per uh, an adjusted balance and then yung an adjusted balance naman po ng bank uh, uh, ng bank uh, bank balance okay yun yung mag-a-appear sa bank statement okay na matatanggap natin periodically okay and then uh, ano po yung mga basic reconciling items okay so meron tayong pinaklassify as book reconciling items and then bank reconciling items so for book reconciling items ano po yung mga normal items diyan so nandiyan yung credit memo these are okay this uh, this would represent deposits or increases dun sa depositors account na ipinasok ni banko pero not yet recorded by the company. O, kaya yun, i-record sa kanya. And then, debit memo. So, mga charges naman na ni-record ni banko na hindi pa ni-record ni libro. Okay, so, ayun. So, ano po yung debit me uh, examples ng debit memo, bank service charges, NSF, nasusundan, okay, or yung mga direct reduction dun sa uh, sa account balance ng depositor as a result ng mga loan uh, na ginawa ni, ba, uh, ni company dun sa banko. So, ayun. Nasusundan po ba? Okay. And then, aside from that, syempre, yung mga book errors. Ayan. So, credit memo is added. Debit memo would be deducted. And then, oh, errors depende dun sa errors. So, errors committed by the 
uh, by the uh, by the entity. Uh, for bank reconciling items, naman we have your uh, basic pujan would be deposit in transit. So ano to? Uh, deposits already recorded by the book, uh, pero hindi pa nag-appear sa uh, sa bank statement balance or sa bank statement. And then we have your outstanding checks. Okay, so for outstanding checks, ito naman yung mga check issuances na ikinaltas na sa libro pero hindi pa nag-clear sa banko. Okay, kasi hindi pa na cash probably nung, nung payee. Okay, pero nonetheless, since issuance na yan, okay, dapat ma, uh, mabawas na yun sa, uh, sa bank column okay, para dun sa bank reconciliation purposes natin. And then of course, we have your errors. Diba? So yung errors, again, depende dun sa nature ng error. Okay, so ano lang naman yung basic ng na concept nito? Okay, so kung sino yung nakakaalam, di ba siya yung masusunod? Tama? O alam ni banko na meron siyang credit kay company, hindi pa alam ni company, so si company yung mag-a-adjust later on. Nasusundan yun. O, tas kung sino ang nagkamali, siya yung mag-a-adjust. So errors committed by the books should be adjusted dun sa records ni books. Nasusundan po ba? Ayan, and then, so... Yung resulting figure dyan, ito po yung uh, adjusted, balances that, uh, adjusted balance that should be presented in the statement of financial position. Is that clear? Okay, next. Oh, if ever po, oh, may difference yan. O oh, dapat ha, mag-reconcile yan. O oh, yun yung perfect scenario. Pero what if, oh, what if you had already exhausted all possible means, pero meron pa rin an, uh, unaccounted na difference. So sino nang mas papaniwalaan natin? Oh, ay yung yung balance per books o yung balance per bank statement. Oh, per bank statement. Parang ina-play mo lang kung sino yung mas reliable na information. Nasusundan po ba? Okay, so ayun. Pero common naman po dito sa 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 FAR, no? Pagka FAR, ano yan, nagre-reconcile yan. Clear po ba? Okay, so illustrate natin by answering yung uh, last problem ng cash and cash equivalents and then we can go to receivables. So an entity kept all cash in checking account. So, an examination of the accounting records and bank statement for the month of June revealed the following information. So, or reconcile natin, ha? So, the cash balance per book on June 30 is 8.5 million. So, ang unadjusted ng libro is 8.5 million. So, anong mga hinihingi sa atin? Okay. Uh, adjusted balance, kasi yun yung amount. Should, uh, that should be reported as cash in bank in June 30. And then, what is the balance per bank statement? So, ano to? An adjusted, okay, bank, uh, an adjusted bank balance, di ba? And then, uh, what is the net adjustment to cash in bank okay, on June 30? So, tignan natin kung paano yun, na? So, book, so, isa sa mga unknown, uh, yung an adjusted balance per bank. Next po, so isa-isay natin. So, a deposit of 1 million that was placed in the bank's night depository on June 30 does not appear on the bank statement. Okay, so ano yan? So, ito po ay DIT. Diba? So, deposit in transit. So, book uh, bank reconciling item. So, added yon right? Next po, the bank statement shows on June 30 that the bank collected note for the entity and credited the proceeds of 950,000 uh, 950, to the entity's account net of collection charge 50,000 so para nakakolekta ng 1 million may service fee na 50,000 so magkano pong naging net increase sa cash 950,000 so kinolekta ni bank on behalf of the entity so ano to okay so sinong nakakaalam na may collection si bank so sino masusunod si bank ang mag adjust yung Okay, yung libro. So, magkano po yan? So, credit memo of 950,000. So, credit memo, ito naman ay DIT. Next po. Okay, checks outstanding on June 30 amount, uh, amounted to 300,000 including certified check of 100,000. So, magkano po ang OC to be presented dun sa ating bank reconciliation? So, OC, net of certified checks. Kasi po yung certified checks, good as and cash na yan. Kasi si certified na nung banko, oo, may pondo yan. So, parang as uh, good as, yun na nga, good as and cash na po yan. So, dapat natanggal na yan ni banko dun sa balance nung depositor. Nasundan po. So, magkano lang ang OC na i-consider mo? 200,000. Paano na ko yung 200,000? 300,000 minus 100,000. Is that clear? Okay, next. 
the entity oh, discovered that a check written in June for 200,000 in payment of an account payable had been recorded in the entity's record as 20,000. So my payment, my disbursement amounting to 200,000, it was only recorded at 20. Nasusundan yun. So sino may mali? Si book, di ba? So book error yan. Okay, so anong naging effect sa cash? Over or understated? Over or understated ang cash? Oh, understated or overstated? Oh, overstated po, di ba? Kasi okay, dapat nabawasan ng 200, ang naibawas lang ay 20,000. So bawasan mo pa ng magkano? 180. Is that clear? Okay, next po. The entity discovered that de, ulit, included with the June Bank statement was NSF check for 250 that the entity had received from a customer on June 26. So, ano to? Debit memo, NSF. So, anong treatment sa NSF? Dapat wala yan sa cash. Nasaan? Nasa receivables. No? So, tanggalin natin. Okay, magkano po yan? 250,000. And then, the last one, the bank statement shows 20,000 service charge. So, bank service charge. Another example po ng debit memo. Magkano? 20,000. Yan. Nakuha? Oh, sige. So, ayun. So, magkano po ang magiging adjusted balance? So, syempre, pwede natin itaan doon sa libro lang. Ano? So, 8.5 plus 950 minus 180 minus 250 minus 20, magkano po yan? Okay, 9 million pesos. Ayan. So, 9 million pesos. Okay? So, para ma-compute natin, squeeze natin yung unadjusted ng, ban uh, ng banko. So, magkano po? So, 9 million plus 200 minus... 1 million. So, magkano ang unadjusted balance? Unadjusted balance would be 8 million 200,000. So, ito ah, ni squeeze lang natin yan. Okay? So, so mga, ano ang mga sagot sa tanong dito? So, what amount should be reported as cash in bank? Sagot po is 9 million pesos. So, letter A. What is the balance per bank statement? Answer? Okay, 8 point Two. Okay, and then what is the net adjustment to cash in bank? So, syempre sa libro mo lang, di ba? O, para madali, 8.5, di ba? From 8.5, gagawin mong 9 million. So, you need to increase it by 500,000. O, tapos, ano lang ang, an, ano, ang, ano lang ang i-adjust? Syempre, yung mga book reconciling. Kasi ito lang yung nasa libro mo. So, i-record mo tong credit memo, record yung error, and then yung receipt ng NSF, and then bank service charges. Nasundan po ba? Okay, so answer po, or net debit of how much? 500,000. Is that clear? Okay, so answer po is letter, or letter C. 